Welcome to the new version of Let's Talk About Real Estate podcast, the podcast for real estate agents everywhere. I'm Lisa B and together with Beyond Kunzel, we're going to talk about everything real estate. We talk about what's working, what's not working, what's new, what's old, technology and anything else to do with real estate. We'll answer your questions from the Facebook group Let's Talk About Real Estate. So if you have a question, we can help. Join the Facebook group today and again, welcome to the show. Welcome, Beyond Kunzel, back with our podcast today. Thank you again for joining me. Thanks, Lisa. We've got a very special guest with us today. Meet Simon Bashara. Hi, Hi Simon. Guys. Thank Welcome, you for Simon. joining us. You know what? First, Beyond, I'm going to ask Simon to tell us a little bit about himself. But can you tell me a little bit about Simon first? <laughs> well, the way, the way Simon, you see Simon. Simon is, he's got a heart of gold, this guy. Um, okay. He, he's very level-headed. He's very calm. He's very uh, well composed. Um, he's got a wealth of knowledge, this gentleman, and um, he's a top performing agent. Um, and he's just a, a lovely guy to be around. He's just a he's just a good guy. That's so awesome. that's it in a nutshell. He's just a good down to earth bloke. What you see is what you get. You know where you stand. Um, he is a straight shooter. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Okay, Simon, welcome. Can Thanks. you can you please give us your experience in real estate? Tell us a little bit about yourself. You've been a business owner. You've been in real estate, I think, 20 years. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, 20 yeah. years. I, yep. I started in uh, 2002. So it was uh, a 2002 to 2004 great boom in Australian real estate. Everything went up 100%. So uh, it, it was a, an absolutely fantastic time to, to learn the ropes uh, it, it actually really helped me this time around with this boom. It just, it taught me to be patient, you know, run things right through to auction, don't sell pre. Uh, you just had a lot more confidence in the structures and the procedures this time around. So yeah, it was very helpful. Awesome. And so you were a business owner. Um, so tell us about the transition from being a business owner to coming into EXP. How was that for you? 2014, 2015, I started up a business with a, a leading franchise. Mm -hmm. uh, that was highly successful, profitable. We would win the auction annual awards for the franchise every year. Not every year, but most years. Uh, I quickly accumulated uh, somewhere between seven and 11 salespeople uh, all within the office. Uh, it, it was a great run. It was a mm. great run. Um, I, I closed, sold that business, rent roll, et cetera, last year, uh, early 2021, mm -hmm. for a hundred reasons. Um, but one of those reasons were I could see the writing was on the wall for web-based models such as EXP. Um, you look back over the, the trend of my 20 years, 21 years, the, the, the great interrupters, uh, the internet, realestate.com, a fantastic you know, example of an interrupter yeah. where the whole industry started going in that direction. And why wouldn't they? Uh, we, we've all heard of this little thing called the internet. Um, you know, then there was mobile phones. I know mobile phones had been around for quite some time, but something happened with mobile phones. Everybody started getting capped uh, rather than $28 and $68 per phone call. The industry and the world just capped these phone bills at $69 a month. And now people weren't frightened of using them. So mobile phones was another great interrupter. And of course, uh, you know, in latter years, Facebook, social media has been another fantastic, huge interrupter. Uh, the web-based model is the next interrupter. Uh, this is the future, make no mistake about it. So yeah. I could see the writing was on the wall. And with, with these big franchises, uh, you have options. Uh, you're signing on for another five years. So uh, my deliberations, my decision was to sell, close the business, and rather than trying to beat them and maintain what I had, let's just join the web-based model. Yeah, great. I think that's um, very a very good message that Simon's delivered there because his business was a very highly successful business. It wasn't a business that wasn't making money. It wasn't a non-profitable business. So he didn't make a change because of any uh, negative reasons within the business that he was running at that particular point in time. It was highly successful. Like I said, he was winning awards with that particular franchise mm. group and his team were kicking some big goals and we knew who they were. Yeah. Everybody knew who they were in South Australia, especially yeah. in the West. 
So it's interesting to hear that Simon came from something that was working, a mm. model that was working, that was doing really well, and still seen, seen the writing on the wall, as he says, yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and chose to come into the web-based model, which is pretty much exactly the way I felt when I seen this as well. Yeah. So how have you found it, Simon, now that you've, you've seen the writing on the wall, you've made the transition you've come in is it living up to the expectations or not and be brutally honest yeah, with us. It, it, you know it keeps growing stronger and stronger you know i go back to the first of june last year i was the what the fourth person to join yes uh, you know what are we now beyond 26 27 uh, i think we're at 25 yeah. that are, that are 25, solid on board and 25 yeah. solid on yeah. board so yeah uh, you know you look at that growth four to 25 in less than 12 months where will this model be in two years and three years from now? It's just going to keep gathering moss like a rolling stone. Oh. There's no doubt about that. So what's happened uh, in the 10 months that I've joined EXP? Um, admin is obviously, as a business owner, is something that you're always aware of and you know the structures, et cetera. So r rather than having somebody do that for me, I started doing it myself. Um, it's great to have the accreditation of being a great agent and the introduction, but the reality is I don't write a million dollars. You know, I'm, I'm settling and, and, and doing my 30 sales per year. If that translates to $250,000, $300,000 per year, well, that depends on the year. Do I get a few million dollar homes to sell or a, or a few uh, little strata units? And that can fluctuate those wages uh, year to year. But um I guess that administration step was a very easy step. Uh, the majority office, the majority of salespeople are right now are, are doing their own templates for signboards and their own templates for brochures. Nothing changes at EXP. Uh, mm -hmm. You're still doing your template. You're still doing mm -hmm. your brochures. Um, for, for that one hour of administration work uh, to, to load up the property, do your story sheets at the end of it, uh, and that's all it is, one hour worth of work, you pick up the extra 40 to 50% commission. Uh, if you're selling 500 homes a year and you don't have the time and you need PAs to help you all of this way, yeah, I get it. But if you're selling 20, 30, 40, 50 homes per year, you can spare the one hour per listing for the administration to pick up the extra 40, 50%. Like it's... Uh, you know, if the average commission's ten thousand dollars, you're picking up another four or five thousand dollars for this one hour worth of administration. It just that's makes, a really good way of putting it. Oh, it just yeah. makes perfect sense. Yeah. In this journey of the last ten months, uh, technology keeps improving. Mm. Uh, you're all aware under EXP as of a fortnight ago, our story sheets are now all online and part of Agent Box. Mm. So that saves me going back to a template, putting this in, putting this in, and, and just spending what may be 15 minutes, obviously 25 minutes with a phone call and the dog wants to go out for a wee. And, and you know, <laughs> they, well, 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 now it's just bang, bang, bang. And you've got that story sheet done in five minutes flat. So right. technology keeps advancing this administration down to, to peanuts. Pretty yeah, much awesome. yeah. I, I want to ask you, Simon, how do you feel like the weight on your shoulder from having a business, which I understand I've had real estate yeah. businesses, the yeah. weight on your shoulder, the, um, you know, the, the, the amount you have to bring in to pay all the wages, you know, pay wages to look after everyone, to have the rent, to have all these expenses. How do you feel now I was without blessed. that? I was blessed with this uh, business that it, it constantly made profit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I would return, I, I would pay myself as every other salesperson in the office, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a, a cut of my commission would go into the pool, but at the end of every quarter, I would get a dividend as yeah. well. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, that stress was never there in the mm -hmm. 670s where I understand a lot of business owners have that stress. A lot of business owners get paid 40, 50% of their commissions hmm. because, hey, I had a great month. I settled 33 grand, but unfortunately uh, the, the accountant took $16,000 of it because bills had to be paid and yeah. I got paid out at 50%. Yeah. A lot of business owners are in that position. I was never in that position, but uh, where the stress relaxes is, 
when, when you do have an office and you've got, you know, four, eight, ten salespeople, uh, it, it becomes like a, a, a little political ground. There's a liberal supporter, a labor supporter. <laughs> A gay activist, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's like this little community. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the politics and the dramas that that creates is, uh, I was going to say a weekly thing. The reality is it's nearly a daily thing. Yeah. And, and there's all these little spot fires that you've got to constantly put out in order to move forward. Um, so, you know, it, it, that that wears you down after a while. So that was another reason why I, I said, you know, I'm going to close this business. Um, but yeah, you don't have that at EXP. Yeah. Uh, you know, the the friends that you, you capture at EXP are amazing. It's endless. Uh, you know, eighty percent of it's online. Yeah. Uh, you know, the the the, the local uh, South Australian Messenger app. Uh, yeah. You know, those messages come through nonstop. You know, you ever want to cheer yourself up, just watch it for half an hour and the memes that come oh, through. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. And Buri. Buri's the oh, most positive, happy guy. How good is he? Oh, you know, my god! I gosh. think we got a, a message of Buri this morning with him in a onesie. And I know, he's hat. so you cute. Know, instantly you cheered up. Oh, I know. Um, it has know, that effect. Absolutely. So, you know, it's... Um, one thing I guess I, I should state, um, you know, I understand there's a lot of salespeople and agents out there saying, you know, this, this model is starting to work and they're looking at it. Mm. One of the things they may not be aware of is the support that you get at EXP is second to none. Yeah. Uh, I've ran very successful office. Uh, I've been in very successful offices. I've never seen so much support but yet it's web-based. Yeah. Uh, when I, you know, for example, um, I'm a great believer at auction that you know too many cooks spoil the broth. I want myself, my auctioneer, a scribe, uh, and those three agents can more than manage uh, an auction. Uh, I have Bjorn on the phone nearly every, well, actually every auction saying, Simon, do you need help this Saturday? I'll come down, I'll video it. I've got Chris Jansen on the phone. Mate, I'm happy to be a scribe. I'm happy to be there. But, but you know, like the, the amount of support so good. that you've got is, is amazing. You know, like mm. I feel bad knocking them back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but every auction, they're on the phone saying, Simon, do you need help? I'm happy to be there, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and that's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, obviously in this period of time, this pocket of coronavirus, no traveling, et cetera, we've had a lot of phone bidders. Uh, you know, uh, registered phone bidders, proxy bidders, et cetera. And um, yeah, I, I actually registered three auction uh, phone bidders one day for one property, one auction, and Bjorn, Amrit, uh, and Amol all rocked up and took care of one bid. Oh, of that's each. so good. Uh, you know, and, and to be able to pull on these three guys, that was on top of me, on top of the auctioneer, on top of the, the scribe, uh, you know, to be able to pull on three guys to be phone bidders, uh, I guess that's the power of having what is now 25 agents in the pool. In you know, and that's going yeah. to keep growing and growing and growing. Yeah, yeah I think you make a, a very good point there, Simon, as well, because it, it goes the same for me as well. Like you're your own business owner in EXP, I'm my own business owner in EXP, so we don't have each other's hands in each other's pockets, hmm. but we do have each other's backs. Yeah. And I think that's the yeah. big difference here. Um, because there is no hierarchy, people aren't expecting, oh, I, I want from you. Like, I'm sure as a business owner, you had people that were had expectations, like Simon should be doing this for me and Simon should be doing that for me. And Simon, I want this and Simon, I want that because you, you know, what about my 50% that I'm giving to the business, you know, but then they don't understand the cost that you've got in that business and, yeah. Yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Whereas with EXP, our overheads are very minimal, you know, it's $27,640 a year. So how does that change? Because I want to hear a bit of dollars and cents, overheads and costs now versus overheads and costs at your office. Mm. How have you found that change? Well, I guess there's certain positives that reflect on certain people. Um, one of the great positives for me, uh, apart from, okay, if I treat myself just solely as a salesperson, for what I wrote the previous year under my business and this year under EXP, as a salesperson, I am 50% better off. 
under EXP model. Wow. A lot. Yeah, a lot. Uh, on top of that, this is just me as a salesperson, not as a, a business owner. Mm. On top of that, I have now bumped in five properties on my rental portfolio. Uh, that doesn't sound a lot. But right now, under the current mode, I don't know if people are aware of this, uh, you know, quickly, uh, $500 a week rent, 8.8% .8 equals $44 per week. Take out the GST, leaves $40 per week. That's $2,000 per year income as property management. The multiplier for purchasing that property right now in the current market is a multiplier of 35 that rental property, 2,000 times 3.5, is worth approximately $7,000 to purchase. Yeah, so uh, rather than getting a week's letting fee, I own the asset. Yes. So, you know, if, if you look at that and you think, well, okay, as a salesperson, I could have got five lots of $500, uh, $2,500. Uh, what I've got is $35,000 worth of asset. Yes. Uh, so, and that also generates that income uh, to $2,000 per year as well. So, yeah. uh, you know, you, you've got to weigh up all of these options. Yeah. Uh, on top of that, Beyond, you brought up a great point. Um, during the month of May, as long as I settle what is unconditionally sold and should settle, I become EXP Icon. And Icon, now, yeah, Icon will give you uh, $16,000 worth of shares. So, you know, if I balance out, okay, we all know that EXP charge 25% on the first 100,000. That's 25,000. And whatever you write over that is 100% yours. Yes, that is factual, people. If you're listening, that happens 100%. No, no, no whims, not, not $1 out of balance. Uh, but if you look at that $25,000 in the first $100,000, uh, you could say technically cost me. Uh, I've just got $16,000 back. So, so I now run my entire business with no headaches, uh, you know, diplomacy, politics and dramas. I'm running my whole business throughout the year for, for $12,000 per year. Yeah. Uh, so if you're out there and you're writing 200,000 and you think, well, you know, I'm, I can be in Simon's position, take out 12,000, that leaves me 188. Yeah, you're correct. On top of that, you can run your own rent roll and develop that, that asset base year on year on year. How far can you grow that? Yeah. Uh, so uh, does this model work? Yeah, it works. Hey, 88,000 agents. What are we now around the world? 88? I think it's uh, I think it's eight, it just passed 80, no, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 thousand. Yes, 80,000. Yes, 80,000. Yeah, I, I, I lose track because every month goes up like two or three. I know, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It won't be long before it's 88,000. I, 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 I think when you started with us, Simon, I think we were sitting at around about 28,000. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, more than 28 to 80,000. It's a big, yeah. big leap. It's yeah, a bit yeah. 50,000 in less than 12 months, agents yeah. have joined on, and it just goes to show the power of this model. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure there's agents out there that are sceptical. I've spoken to one. He says, oh, that's a con. There's, there's no way that works. <laughs> and, and you think, I'm living proof that it, that it, that it works. And, 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 you know, we go back to support. I'm sure every office and every agent, every salesperson around the country uh, have had a moment in the last 12 months where administration is off the cards. They've got coronavirus. See in seven, 14 days. And, and that little thing that you wanted done and you're in the waiting line for it to get done, you just have to accept that, yep, admin's back in seven days. Uh, I have gone live with two properties and, I, and I'll say a name. She's the best I've ever experienced. Kirsten, I love you. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, yeah. Kirsten has gone live with two properties being positive to coronavirus. Yeah. Uh, Simon, I'm home. I'm not that bad. I'm, I might as well get paid and work. Uh, she wasn't restricted to an office to do this work. She does it from home. Yeah. And that's amazing. So, you know, as in regards to the administration that I've experienced at EXP, it's actually far superior than any office. Yeah, any wow. Office. You know, it's, uh, I, I've actually sponsored uh, a, a person into EXP in this 10 months since I've been there. And I don't mind saying it. Um, I've known them for quite some time. They were probably the harshest critic 
I've ever seen on administration in the past. They have turned around to me and said that the, the administration as EXP is just far superior. Wow. I don't know what it is. I, I, I've actually tried to dive in mentally to, to sort of decipher, you know, why he said that. And um, you know, I, I don't know, because these people are working around the country from home and you don't actually physically get to see them. But they could be sitting there in, in, in underwear and Ugg boots. <laughs> see them. So, so he doesn't, you know, get to, to pinpoint, oh, you know, uh, I wish they didn't wear that today or, or they shouldn't have worn that today. I remember past agents used to say to me, oh, it's not right that uh, our administrator is eating lunch at their desk. Uh -huh. and, and I think, you know, like, what are they? Are you more happy if they leave the office for an hour to, to go have their lunch and come back, and then you'd complain that they're not there for the hour? Not to mention the financial strains or the pressure for a principal or an office manager who fills in for the hour. Yeah. Uh, it makes perfect sense that they sit there eating a sandwich for an hour, still typing. You're very thankful that yes. they're at their, at their desk doing this so administration, uh, but yet salespeople didn't see it that way yeah. uh, so you know is our administrators sitting there eating their lunch while uh, they're putting properties live mm. who, who cares, cares? Who yeah. cares? we don't they know, know. <laughs> exactly yeah i oh, well, know one yeah. thing we don't hear about it yeah we don't hear about it there's no people that are Judgment. complaining about it mm. uh, so the administration works better yeah. So, so what? So, what you? Oh, oh. Sorry, sorry. Let's just say. Were you, were you were you a skeptic, Simon, before you joined us? Were you a skeptic? Were you a? Mm, I don't know about this. Were no, you no. Putting no. up other models. I could tell, like, like you know, um, being privileged to you know emails and, and things as a business owner, you could, uh, you know, like I, all of my family come from the racing industry, horse racing industry. So you know, you grow up trying to find a winner, uh, you know, you could decipher the form and you could clearly see that this is the future. Web-based mm. models are going to be the future. Mm. Uh, you know, let's get away from that pyramid scheme where, where you know, uh, franchises are charging 8% off the top and the business owners are clipping you 30 to 40% of the remaining 92% and the agents are getting paid, you know, they believe they're on 60%, but they're really on 52, 54%. Mm -hmm. um, let's get away from that pyramid scheme and let's just open it up. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't believe agents would leave for the sake of, you know, one or two, or in some cases, 5% difference. But this is that powerful to cut out those middle people, mm -hmm. the franchise and the business owner, we are putting an extra 50% in your pocket. And Absolutely. that's very, very powerful. Yeah. If you're around the country and your group certificate reads $120,000, come to EXP, do the same business, your, your, your group certificate is going to read $180,000. Yeah. If it's $250,000, come to, come to EXP and write the same business and it's going to be three seventy five. dollars and not only that, you're going to accumulate your rent roll. You're going to get these shares if you hit ICON mm -hmm. uh, over a 10-year period. The next 10 years is approximately $1 million and above better off under the EXP model than the old traditional franchise period. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, why, why didn't I do this earlier? It wasn't available earlier. It's like saying, go, go, go do, why don't I do it earlier? It's like saying, go post something on Facebook in 1985. <laughs> <laughs> the technology wasn't available. It wasn't available. So, you know, I watched it come to Australia, to be honest with you, two years ago. And I watched Bjorn and Chris and Mike join EXP. And, and I never reached out to them. I just watched it. And, and I, I knew that Chris and, and, and Mike and, and Bjorn are great operators. And I, I watched their business still do very similar to what it had done in the past. And I thought, okay, that's, that's interesting. 
Um, I want everybody to recall what happened two years ago. The government introduced this thing called JobKeeper and uh, who in the hell was going to be moving from their employer? And that yeah, exactly. Up? Nobody. Yeah. Uh, I'll take the government money, thanks very mm. much. But mm. after that ended, uh, you can see how it's now gone from three to 25 mm. in mm. less than 12 months. Yeah, uh, I joined. I was the fourth one to join on the first of June last year, and it's already at twenty five. Yeah. Uh, so the amount of people that inquiring about it—it's not every minute. It's, it's nothing like that. But I'm getting at least one phone call a week. But it's the quality and the, the people that are calling inquiring is amazing. Hmm. I'm talking business owners. Yeah. business owners that are fed up with the politics, the dramas of their own office uh, that are in that position that they settle $30,000 for the month. They've had a decent month in their eyes, but the bills meant that they had to put $15,000 back in and they got paid 50, 50%. Yeah. Um, without the pressures of that rent and those wages and, and those costs associated with that office, they should be in the position that Bjorn and I are in, and that is putting 100% in your pocket. Exactly. Uh, yeah, paying the $25,000 per year, getting the $16,000 worth of shares back, and now your running costs are like me and Bjorn, where we're floating around $12,000 per year running costs. And for that, we get the admin, we get the support, we get the technology, we, we get the lot. So Simon, there's so many agents losing money, like, you know, they're giving it to their, their franchise, to their, to their business owner, whatever, their principal. Um, are you okay if agents reach out to you and, you know, oh, yeah, particularly, sure. particularly the, the analytical people that have got the business and they want to know real facts and figures? Because I think it'd be great for them to talk to you that you can actually go through and say, what are your figures? These were mine. This is now the difference. Um, because people think it is too good to be true. So it'd be really great if, if agents yeah. can just ring you and I'll put your phone number and everything down. If they can just ring you, um, ask questions, obviously confidential, but um, cool. just, you know, giving your experience and, and that, that might just help somebody actually see that, it, that it's, you know, it, it, it is real, you know, so. Oh, 100% genuine. Yeah. I, I, I had one chat with one fella, uh, we don't need to name names, but he, he was that sceptical. He, he didn't believe it. Mm. He, he actually said that this is a gimmick. Um, he's that tied up in that franchise world, in that pyramid scheme, mm. that he thinks there's no other way. Yeah. And, you know, no other way wasn't available as of two years and beyond because the technology wasn't there. But, but yeah. we're base. This technology is now available. It's adapted. Uh EXP is obviously the leading web-based model in the world. Uh -huh. uh, it made sense for me to join EXP. There are others out there. Uh, and I looked at them before joining EXP. I looked at the others. And I just, I, I came down to the, the VHS and the beta. Uh, for those who are old and remember <laughs> the orders, there were, you know, uh, I don't know what was the better product, beta or VHS, but I know that the public and, and therefore, in this case, the agents around the world adapted and adopted, sorry, adopted VHS EXP. Mm -hmm. And uh, therefore, it's got the traction. Others may come in and the wheels may spin in the mud for six months, two years. Uh, EXP is on the ground, it's running. So uh, that was my mind made up that that's the model I'm going to go with. Yeah, I think what we found as well, Simon, I'm sure you've had this as well, is most agents, when they look at the model and they think it's too good to be true, that's because they're in an office and the office might have 40 staff, 50 staff, 10 staff, five staff, whatever. And they think, well, if this office paid the way that EXP did, they'd go bankrupt. How does this work? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, 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 and what, what, what the agents got to understand is there's 80,000 people paying $220 a month in, an, yeah. in a fee. We yeah. charge an administration fee on each sale, which gets charged to the, to the client. We, everyone charges an admin fee. So they're collecting 80,000 admin fees. They're yeah. collecting $80,220 a month, yeah. plus of that $25,000 a year that we all pay in. Not everybody's going to become an icon agent like you are. Hmm. Um, some of them are going to be just happy doing, you know, 20 sales a year and whatnot. 
an EXP giveaway only 50% of the revenue that EXP earn. And EXP's revenue is, we're talking not millions or tens of millions or hundreds of millions, we're talking billions. The revenue of EXP is billions. So they make a small amount of money yeah. off of a lot of people Correct. and we worldwide, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's important for people to understand as well because if you look at this with the, the mindset of comparing it to how your franchise would work, it, it is too good to be true because no franchise could offer this because one business with 10 staff, it wouldn't be profitable to do no, it. No, they don't have 80,000 yeah. agents. It's yeah. a massive profit, massive yes. profit. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Okay, so is there anything you would change, Simon, with EXP? Um, the only thing I would change, and, and this is obviously a, a direction that we're all moving forward, is mm -hmm. more agents. Yes. Uh, the more agents we have, the, the more exposure we have, the, yep. the more we're on the shopping list as agents listing and selling and picking up appraisals. So, uh, you know, the drive is there where mm -hmm. we need more agents on board. Yeah. So, um, you know, what was I watching the last night? I, I watched the great movie, The, the Wolf of Wall Street. I, <laughs> I'm sure you've all picked it up. So, you know, I remember there was this little party, you know, we'll translate it. If, if you're sick of your business owner driving a beautiful car, that's your 40%. Get on the phone, get the EXP. Yeah, absolutely. If you're sick of, uh, you know, then wearing nicer suits and nicer watches and going overseas holidays, that's your 40%. Get to EXP. Absolutely. Yeah. No, thank you so much. So anybody that's looking to join, please give, give Simon a call. He's happy to go through facts, figures, experiences. Um, and like I said, I'll put your phone number and all your details at the at the bottom of the podcast and everything. So yeah, anybody looking, please reach out to Simon. Thanks. Definitely reach Thank out to Simon, all. guys. Simon, as a business owner, um, when you do join GXP, you get sponsored in by somebody. Simon mm -hmm. would make an amazing sponsor because he's got oh. a wealth of knowledge. He's got 20 years of experience. So if you're an agent and, and you are sponsored by Simon, you're going to tap into that wealth of that knowledge. And um, Simon will be there as a brother to support you or um, as, a, as a mentor to support you on that journey. So yeah. I, would, I would have loved to have somebody like Simon. Um, you know, he was obviously, I got in before he got in, but, <laughs> but he is a mentor to me as well. There's quite yeah. often we have phone calls on, on the phone and I say, Simon, how would you handle this? Because he's got a wealth of knowledge. So he would yeah. make a fantastic person if you are looking at joining into EXP because he would yeah. mentor you and guide you along with the rest of the team. And yeah, so as well as all of us as well, yeah. Yeah, get in touch, get in touch. Yeah, no, that'd be great. All right, thanks so much, Simon. Thank that was awesome. Thank thanks you. Very much. Thanks, thanks, Simon. Thanks, all right. Lisa. See ya. Thanks. Bye. Thank you for listening to Let's Talk About Real Estate podcast. We hope you enjoyed the show. If you have a question about real estate, then please join the group on Facebook, also called Let's Talk About Real Estate. For those of you who are interested in EXP, please join us at 10 a.m. Brisbane time every Wednesday morning for EXP Explained. Thank you again for joining us and don't forget to subscribe to the podcast and see you next week.